Hey guys, welcome back to day two of Skybound at San Diego Comic Con. With me, get ready for this. We got Chris and Bradley to show off <laughs> Labyrinth. The key art looks amazing. You got the names you. right. Oh, thank you. First try, too. About 15 minutes of practicing beforehand. And of course, my bro Dan from Skybound right here. So guys, Labyrinth. I'm pretty excited for this because it's a game that's really up my alley. I, love, I really love like, you know, collectible card games and being strategic and like, you know, just like, oh, that's, that's my element right there. So cool. before we get into that and we start playing, I mean, what, what is Labyrinth? Do I? So Labyrinth's kind of a marriage between Dungeons and Dragons and Magic the Gathering. So it's kind of exponential nerd right there. All right, so, that's right. that's where I want to be. That's my, <laughs> my, my sweet spot. So um, it's a it's a marriage of like a tactical RPG right. and a collectible card game. So you have a party of heroes. Right. Um, and you're moving them through dungeons. All of your actions are the cards. So you want to buff your teammate. You want to swing your sword. You want to cast a fireball. That's all the cards. Very cool. And now, uh, is this like a single-player experience? Is it multiplayer experience? Is it both? Like, what? What is? What am I looking at it's over here? It's actually an asynchronous multiplayer. Interesting. So you have both offensive cards and defensive cards. Right. So on the offensive side, it's your heroes and all of their actions. On the defensive side, the cards actually define your dungeon. Right. And so it's the boss. It's all of his abilities. It's all the minions and traps that are in that dungeon room with him. Um, and so when I'm fighting you, you've set up your dungeon. You're basically like. Crafting the AI for the boss fight. Interesting. And yeah. um, and so I attack you, and then you'll get a notification that uh, you've been raided. And you get the replay. And you get to go back and tweak your deck after the fight. This is really unique. I've never actually heard of anyone do anything like this. Where I'm setting up my deck for both defense and for like you know the offense for right. like an async play. But can we just jump right into it? Sure. Yeah, jump in. Cool. So I'm just pressing yeah. play button over. But so guys, just so you know, I've not played this before. I'm looking to, for, for <laughs> guidance from from Chris and Bradley over here. So like you know, so Bradley's the creative director. It's really his oh. vision. Oh, so dude, he'll walk you through the rest of it. Right on. So okay, so on this screen, am I just going to press start raid? Am I choosing right. characters or? So what you see here, uh, you got your current party, right? Which consists of the, the, the default party that we have at the beginning. You have three different heroes, and each of the heroes kind of fits into one of the classic roles of a fantasy RPG. Right. So in the center there, you got the Blade Master. He's going to be your tank. He also right. deals a lot of melee damage. Gets right into the fight. Then on the left, you got the Priestess. She's going to be your healer, back you up. She's going to buff guys, protect them. She's also got some damage that she can do herself. Right. And then the Pyromancer on, on your right is kind of your DPS class. She's right. going to stand back. She's kind of a carry. So you want her to you want to protect her so she can power up over the course of the fight. Got it. OK. So, uh, so you, Blade Master protects her, and she's buffing, giving us the support we need. All, all right. right. Cool. Shall yeah, we so begin? Just jump in to start raid. All right, let's do it. So now you're actually getting matched with some other player who set up their dungeon. So Normie, this is a player, you know, out, uh, playing the game right now. This would be like another real person in this the world a real person. And, their, and their deck. Very right. cool. So they've set up their deck ahead of time, and so you're going to play against that. Very cool now. Is it possible for me to kind of like just yeah. look around? Yeah, oh, so yeah. I right. this, center this, mouse button right. zooms in. Too. So right from the start, you can see, you know, that we're, we're really trying to do something different here. Yeah. Um, so it's a, it's a turn-based game. Everything's grid-based, so position really matters. Right. Timing really matters. You can see up ahead, the, in the center there, that's the boss that you're going to be fighting against. Right. Um, he's uh, the, we call him the Ancient Master, but essentially he's the spirit of uh, some fallen warlord from a thousand years ago. Right. And you've kind of walked into his dojo. Uh, and so you start, you play one character at a time, but they all, uh, they all act in turns. So up at the top there, you see you've got that timeline with those numbers. Oh. That, that, that's actually a timeline. So this is like the order that we'll be playing, right? right? Yeah, okay, yeah. Got so it. you see the portraits of each of your characters there. And the, the one thing that's, I think, really new and different here is that uh, all the cards, instead of costing something like mana, right. they cost time. Oh. Right. So you see your, the cards that he's got there. That, that number up in the top left, it kind of looks like a stopwatch. That's actually right. the number. We call them ticks. But that's the number of ticks that's going to get added to your clock. When no, you so play that again. card. So you can see it's showing where that guy will act again. Right. Ah, very cool. Right. So, so really, you know, takes the the whole turn-based strategy thing and and makes the most of it. That's really unique. It really makes me think about how, like, you know, the, the cost of using each of these cards. What's the other players exactly. going to do? Exactly. Right. And really, it's fun watching a, some of our Twitch contests because the the elite players are just mapping it out. Oh, right. Right. What's right. the DPS yes. per tick? How, right. Like, and uh, that's one of the reasons really why we wanted to make a turn-based game is we really wanted you to be able to like sink in there. It's one of those where, you know, it's it's very accessible because you're just playing cards and doing actions. But then right. when you really get in to start thinking about it, there's like the number of choices you can make and the the, the expert skill that can be required at the high levels. Right. Well, I can see this getting really deep. So 
Let's do our first action. So I'm gonna have the wheel right. of Blade Master right now. Right. And I've got a couple of options here. So uh, you, you can move before you play a card. If right. you play a card, your, your turn is over. Right. So if you want to move him first, you can see there it's showing a preview of the of this area he can move into. And all you have to do is just drag the guy into another square and he'll move there. Now before I move the Blade Master, like, is there a way for me to tell what kind of range these cards have? Like, would I be if able you to... highlight, so he gives, he, like, uh, the balanced attack is the only one you currently have that's an actual attack. Right. Uh, the one on the far right. Oh, yep. Yeah, so that one, you can't actually see it previews the range for that attack. Oh, so I wouldn't even be able to get close enough anyway right. to attack so, these guys. So that tells you oh, you need to move him closer to get it to, to get into those guys' face. Now, face. now, should I actually be moving closer? Or do you think I should yep. wait for these guys to move towards me? What's they will move towards you, but you probably want to take the initiative right. and move him ahead because otherwise they might move in to attack your other characters. Right, I want to keep these guys. They're a little bit more fragile, keep them back. Yeah. Got it. So at this point, let's see. Um, so that's a weapon. So what you can do, you can equip a weapon, and then you'll be able to use the weapon as a separate attack on later turns. So, probably a good idea to you. I want to do right. it. Right, I think right, it's a good play. It. Okay, there we go. It's plus one. You see here, it puts it into your weapon slot right, there. Right. Ah. Uh, yeah, so oh, each, oh, for, for his character. Right, right, so each character has two different slots. Right. One's a, one's a weapon or an attack, and the other one's kind of a, a, a more, more of like a tactical thing. Like, you guard and gain gotcha. armor. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. So now I'm controlling our support character. Yeah, this is the priestess. The priestess, and now let's see what are our options here. So she's got about the same amount level of movement as the blade. Ma Actually, yeah. a little bit more, right? No. No, every, all the characters There's right now have the same movement. Same. Yeah. Got it. And so let's see what are my options here. I could um, for two six either. Yeah. So that's a that's a modal card. You get to choose how you want to play it. It's either deal three damage or restore three health. Ah. And we just have this nice like convenient you know pop up dialogue. Oh yeah, to, super easy. It. Yeah. Got it. So over here I've got celestial play. Um, give an ally plus one armor. Or let's see here. Um, okay, right. So this is every character also has their own resource right. that you spend because we still wanted to have a mechanic where you're 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 saving up, and for some they play differently. Absolutely, right. right. You don't want to be able to like, use anything like a crazy yeah. card immediately, right? So um, she has she has devotion. A devotion. She starts with a pool of devotion. Right. You can see the little seven in the the, the, the bottom left, right next to her portrait. Oh, right over here. Okay, right. got it. So here's yeah. the seven, seven devotion and and That's twenty health. health. Right. Yeah. Cool. Okay, right. six. Got so it. she starts with devotion and and she spends it over the course of the battle to boost up certain spells. Got it. All right. So in this case, I mean, I'd like to maybe give this guy more armor. Is that a that's, that's, a, that's a good move? Yeah. All right. Cool. That's the so. strategy I usually do. Is I just bring my tank out. He has a lot of cards that will uh, we call it uh, provoke. Right. Where it's like if a, a, an enemy's right next to him, they have to attack him. Right. So I buff him up with as much armor and health as possible. Have him soak up all the damage, DPS from the. From Sounds like a trap. Let me just make sure you have Dan. Are you are you cool with me going that route? Want me? How about we? No, dive in, man. Dive in. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just reading the chat. I'm like, I'm wondering. What, there's some confusion about this being like Sudoku, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a little curious as to uh, we have to prove them wrong. Oh, right. they, they may be beyond right. our help, but we'll see what we can do. All right. Sudoku doesn't have much ass kicking. Right. Um, so now for her, like, should I move her back a little bit if she's gonna be a support character? Yeah. Like, so let's let's maybe move her. I feel. You know, yeah, what, if I'm here, that'll be okay. Like, still close enough I can help out, but out of their reach. And I'll go ahead and use the enchantment on. There we go. Plus one armor, and we're good. Yeah. So now we go to the pyromancer. Ah, uh, let's see what flank can we have with her. So, deal four damage. That would cost me three ticks. Uh, get your plus four armor. I could also do that, and really buff this guy out. Or once I have the four armor, is that gonna be persistent? Well, for the that's entire... only for her. So well, that's only for it her. only gives for her, and see, it also has duration too. It's only gonna last two ticks. Ah, uh, so I'm gonna save that. So that's that. really for her. Like it's a panic shield she puts up when she knows she's gonna get hit. Got it. So let's see. Deal four damage. That seems lucrative. And so you see that guy. The difference between those. The reason why that one's a little bit more expensive because right. the fireball also has says range five, blast one. Oh, so that means it also does an AOE. Ah, Whereas so the fireball is just going to hit a single guy. So let me save this one until they're actually grouped together, right? Right. I think there's another important thing too. Is this? Uh, did we make this a, a cooldown? This not, not this one. Not yeah. Oh. It's not a wind up yet. So, um, certain cards. Uh, you know, when you talk about the tick system, it's usually a cooldown right. before you can act again. There's windups where right. ah. uh, it won't go off. Also, right. like a spell casting time almost. Right, right, right. Like, yeah, so yeah exactly. Got, got it. So got then it. you gotta protect your spell caster, sure. make sure that she doesn't get interrupted. Right, right. Ah, so this time, for the, at least this card, that's not there, right? Right. Okay, right. got it. So I figure a fireball towards one of these two guys might be yeah. to go. Soften them up, let the blade master finish them yeah. off. So let's go ahead and do that. Time to see. Oh, I love that effect. All right, there we go. Ready? Do it. First blood. 
All right, there we go. Oh, oh, All right. oh God, here's the ball. So now they, yeah, they, they go ahead and start taking their turn. Right. So he's So he's actually, we mentioned a wind-up. He's doing a wind-up now. And you can see that faint orange area there. That's the area of effect that's going to, the wind-up's going to, the whirlwind is going to affect. I do not want to be there when that goes up. Right. 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 So, uh... <laughs> So you just this is the card's just coming up right now, waiting for you to, to read the card and continue. So you can just oh, got play. It. Yeah. All right. So let's see. So wind up, deal six damage. I do not want six damage. I only got twenty health. Right. Uh, for those of you guys joining up, joining in just now, we're playing Labyrinth. So it's right. me versus someone else's deck right now. This is another player's deck out there. I'm playing. Yeah. It's asynchronous. Hopefully he's watching. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do, can I see what their name is anywhere? Like yeah, uh, it's right up there. Normie. Normie. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hey, Normie. Normie. All right, Normie. We're gonna get crushed. Hopefully. Um, so now that I have my Blade Master, I want to get out of the so you, you probably want to get into melee range with him, yeah, there we so you go. move so, up. There we go. That seems good to me. And now this is where we can either use... Uh, so you got that Brawler's Flail. So you can see that's another, it's got Blast 1, that's another AoE, so it'll actually hit everyone around him. Right. Oh, that's cool. Or right, you've so also got the Balance Attack. Let's see, Balance Attack. Uh, the Balance Attack. The yeah. one right oh, next to that. The oh, one right, right here. There. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Three damage and gain three... Oh, you know what? This might be nice. Yeah. Just get some defense. It's a perfect tank card, because he does a little damage in, but then he protects himself for the next couple ticks. Let's do it, right? Ah, uh, there we go. All right. One block. Not bad. And so now we're back to our Priestess. And with So her, she's drew into all of her damage. Yeah. Hmm. You got several different flavors there. Right. Let's see. Two damage. Let's put something with low, low tick. You know what? I, I feel like one tick, get her in the action sooner in case this guy makes a move. Right. Um, what do you guys think? That's good. It's good. You see, now one thing you see, other than the monk's judgment, the, 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 the card on the left and the right, right, they're actually a little shorter range. That's one of the advantages of the Pyromancer uh, over the Priestess. Like, Priestess can do some damage, which, right. but she's got to put herself a little bit at risk to do so. Right. So, so she would have to, either you could do that or she'd have to move up to... Five to damage hit. is pretty significant. I think yeah. it's worth moving in close enough for So I'm going right. to be two spaces closer to get this done. So maybe over here. Yeah, let's either of those will work. Okay, let's do it over here. And let's go ahead and do the five damage. This guy... Mm, you probably focus fire, probably. Right. So, right. I don't know who's got more damage. This, well, he got took some damage earlier. I'll be focusing on this guy. I don't I want to stay down okay. here, so let's yeah. go ahead and push over here. Yeah, it's probably better to focus on one guy. Oh, here he comes. And now, so you got a ton of armor from your balance attack. So much right. There so it go. seems it seems scary, but it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. No actual real damage done yet. The armor's taking the brunt of it. And so over here. Now what He's this attack is doing. Up. Now well, can he move? Can that can that area move? No, he you? won't he won't do anything until that goes off. Alright, so now that he's one, yeah. he's gonna stay in that spot. I'm safe for now. So let's see here. Um a crystal ball, what is that? So do? that'll go and see it says offhand at the bottom there. Right. So that goes in the left slot there. It replaces right. her guard. Right. And it gives her a new ability that then if you if you hover over the the word crystal ball in the text, see it oh, shows you what ah. it's gonna equip. So that turns basically instead of now having a guard where she gains armor, she now has a, a, an ability that she gains focus and focus is her resource. Oh, very cool. All right. So cool. I think we'll hold off so on that, that for now. It's right? free though, oh, oh, so you could just play it. It's, oh, it's, it's, it's free to it's equip. Free. Oh, Not free great. to use, but you can equip it right now and then maybe use it later. And it won't take up my turn? It won't take up your oh, turn. Oh, that's great. Because it costs no, zero. Yeah. No brainer. Now, right. do you also have cards where it's like by playing X cards, you also get another bonus? Like, yeah. All right. So yeah, cool. we, got, we got stuff like that. So in some cases, I might want to hold off on that card until I have yeah. like, achieve that bonus. Yeah, and sometimes it, like where one's like you play it first. Right. And then it does something for the rest of your turn to get some bonus. So you want to you do a two-card combo. Got it. I guess a lot of ways that we really like want to play with the way the timeline works. Got it. Now, I'm curious, like, how do you actually get new cards? While I'm You'll doing draw this? one every time you act. So, I, I, I don't know if you noticed, but every time you've been acting, you get a new card in your hand. Now, question. That, now, would I hurt my own ally by using this card? You won't. Not, not oh. this particular spell. All right. Excellent. Yeah. There we go. Oh, Boom. Great. Oh, here he comes. He's charging up again. Huh? All right. So Why now not? he's going to summon some more minions. Those uh, are little ghost links. Okay. There we go. Ghost links. And you can this see they're just two. little two twos. All right. But he's got some abilities. For one, actually, his special ability. Let's go ahead and do Double this now. Click Double on click him. on him. Well, uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. There oh, cool. So you see, you see his card. His special ability is that he has armor equal to the number of minions he controls. So he's just trying to raise as many guys as possible. That's gonna be a problem. I don't want him to do that. Right. So, so. right now he's got five armor. You got it. The ghostlings themselves, not a huge threat. Right. But him but they're protecting him as long as they're alive. I'll always have to take care of those things before they right. take him out. Right. Got it. All right. Let's see here. Um, while I'm doing this, back to the priestess. And let's see, I can so do So she drew into another copy of Divine Hammer, so she still only got some damage, but Divine Hammer is a really good, cheap way to kill off some of those right. ghostlings. Anything gotcha. that can uh, do some AoE stuff would be great. That's also right. be, yeah, that'd be really good. Here. So what's got the blast? 
Uh, she doesn't really she have, doesn't have any blast, blast stuff. Okay, right got yeah. it. So I can just quickly take care of. Uh, yeah, damage. I think that's a good play. There we go. And maybe get rid of this guy. Just kind of block my. I mean, like clear up the yeah. escape yeah. route. You always want to be as efficient as possible with your right. damage. So. Yeah. You yeah. know what, I just realized I probably should have moved her out a little bit before I did that. Probably. Yeah, Yeah. that's okay. She'll but be fine. one thing is there's only one tick spell, so it's right. only going to be one more turn before she can move again. Right. So now I'm in a good position to actually do another area attack with this that guy. Brawler's, oh, right. uh, the Brawler's Flail is pretty good. Brawler's Flail is great right now. Oh, great. Let's actually go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah. Is there any way I can do this a little? No, this is... That's pretty I, efficient. It's yeah. probably the best. Yeah. Yep. There we Boom. go. Beautiful. Oh. oh, so one thing you saw there. So the Blade Master's special ability, he's the right. Blade Master. He's right. all about weapons. Right. So he does extra damage with every weapon atta he attacks. So you did that was enough to kill both of those guys. Excellent. And now that, that didn't take up any ticks. So me using uh, but that. You did oh, it took uh, three. So oh, so we're back to the Priestess now. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry, right. I didn't realize. Right. Yep, yeah. yep, you're right. So you can see up on the timeline, the Blade, Blade Master is now on tick eight. Uh, it'll be yeah. a while before I see him again. Okay, yeah. got it. Uh, so now we're back to Priestess. She didn't get hurt by me leaving her there, which is good. But now I probably want to get her out of the way and maybe take out this other... Uh... Do you see the power up right there? Oh, so, I, so that's I another thing. There. That when, it, when enemies die, they have a chance to drop items. Right. Items, right, right now we have three types of items in the game. We have ones that just give you a health boost. Right. And then uh, one that gives you armor temporarily and one that gives you uh, attack temporarily. So that, those are both armor power-ups. Now the question is, it's right in front of the boss, dude. Is it worth me stepping in front of him to like... Well, you don't, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't consume all your movement. Oh. You could step into there and then you still have some movement left over. You can oh, move great. For some reason I thought like you move once and you're done, but I can still use movement. Oh, right, yeah. There so we go. you can yeah. move up to the max. Yeah. Got That's it. something that was really important so that we could give players a chance to... To kind of, if they didn't move into exactly the square they wanted, they right. can, and they have some extra movement, they can fine fine tune it. That is great. Okay, cool. Um, so we've got a few minutes left. Let me see if I can. I'd love to do a little bit more damage here. Give an ally plus one attack. No, deal three damage. Deal two damage. Um, you know, let me move back maybe two spots, mm -hmm. and then pull off my. That's kind of overkill, right? Can I back out of this? Or yeah, if you drag I, it back into your hand, it should. Yeah, oh, there we go. Perfect. So. Mm, I only really need this to kind of take it out, right? Well, that one's yeah, he's out oh, of range. Oh, it's out of range. Now. Yeah. And yeah, then it's worth it then, right? Yeah. All right, so now it's three of us versus him. <coughs> oh, just in time, you killed those guys. Yes, there we go. And what's he going to do? Ghost Blade, deal five damage, plus one, reach spirit control. All right, so it'll just be five damage. Right. That's fine. Oh, uh, that's going to oh. hurt her, though. 14. <laughs> it still hurts. <laughs> All right, but now we're just going to wail on him, so... Right. Come on, Normie, just lay down. There we go. I want to really kill this guy before we're up. So, five rain, do five damage. So, maybe let me just go back as far as I can go and, like, steal it. Yeah. All right, there we go. But his armor is down now, so. It's going to hurt. Now, now's the time to really get into his face. There we go. So, let's see. What, else, what do I have here that can really restore some health? We're okay. Yeah, try it with the devotion. The oh, one the, no the mercy, right. Swifter. Come oh. on. No the, mercy. The, the divine hammer. A oh, divine hammer. Oh, yeah, but try the one on the right. Okay, got it. The oh, power hammer. The power hammer. Okay, right. got it. Sweep the leg. Go. Yes. Oh. All right. So he's go. going down. We're gonna do this quickly. Oh, I can he's bringing. He's bringing in reinforcements. Oh, all right, what a time killer. All right. He's buying. He's buying life. Fine time. Okay. Well, on the plus side, I've got him back again, and I can move in over here. And maybe do. Do I have any area of attack that I can do? Yeah. You still. You've still got two more uses on your brawler's play. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and do that then. So we go in over here, and. <laughs> There we so, go. So since we're running out of time, oh, yeah, why, sure. why don't we'll we... Uh, like so you up. can see, you're, I yeah. think you're going to mop it up. It's, just, it's very easy to kind of get, get into. Right. I want to fish match so bad. <laughs> and these are ends off the key. Yeah, right, right. Right. All right, all right. <laughs> so you can see one thing is these are the basic decks. These are, this is like, this is really like kind of the simplest level of play. All the right. characters have really signature cards for their right. abilities. Right. There's a lot more complexity that comes into it as you get more cards. Right. You know, open packs and find things with higher rarity cards. Things really powerful weapons, really awesome spells. And what do I get when I beat like another player? Like, do I just get so like you, XP? Do I you, get like loot? You get XP, you get you get uh, gold and stardust, which you can use to either craft cards That's or buy booster packs. Very cool, very cool. And uh, speaking of free, the free? game is free. Oh, that's there awesome. Right. Well, not free yet, but we'll be right. shortly. Yeah, we're, we're, we're early, early free to play. It's in early right. access right now on yeah. Steam. Right. Awesome. So you can so play it now. We want we want more than anything people playing it. And right. It, right now, it's more almost like a sandbox. So it's like a, a play, try different strategies, help us craft the right. um, the cards. We really right. want people playing now. And yeah, we really um, want players players feedback, their input. You know, what they we like. Listen, trust me. Yeah. That's awesome. We're going to search Labyrinth on, uh, on Steam, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. And awesome. we are giving uh, these oh. uh, 
fancy skateboard decks, these labyrinth skateboard decks um, away. Really nice. Um, on the chat, so um, you go in, they, there's yeah, there a way to, they, they, will, they will initiate it on the chat. There but, we go. Uh, these are, uh, there's a little contest that we're going on, going on right now to give this lovely little labyrinth special edition there skateboard there deck away. Awesome. The Skybound count will guide you in chat, guys, so keep your eyes open over there. And very cool. And so my last question sure. before we go is like, if me and Dan are playing, could I like challenge him like directly? Sure. There's a yeah. whole friends mode. So. Oh, there is. Okay. Right. right. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. Uh, really looking forward to what's like. What's next for you guys in terms of like building up the game? So uh, next month we got a really big release too. Right. So uh, um, we're working on the on the, the highest rarities and uh, card packs, card, the distribution, and really just like the complete. Uh, a complete cycle of the game. Oh man, very satisfying game to play, cool. guys. Thank you so much for sharing it. Right, man. Absolute pleasure. Uh, I'm gonna right, figure yes. out if I can like stay on stage for a little bit longer to beat this guy. Probably won't be. <laughs> right. but, yeah. You got it, man. There I'm we go. Impressed. I'm gonna like take the keyboard <laughs> with me. I'm gonna no side. help at all. <laughs> that was so all you, man. This, this is, is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, oh, Normie just laid down I'm for you. Oh, dude, it is really a lot of fun, guys. I'm definitely gonna be playing. So, guys, thanks so much. And guys, hang right there. Got more good stuff coming to you. Be back soon.